I don't want to get up. Let's pretend we're still on holiday. I can't. I've got to go to work to sort out my shifts. You should go to work too. Half the morning's gone. I'm enjoying myself too much. You sure you're all right to take Mark to his test? Yeah. You know, he's convinced he's going to fail. Look, I'm going to be home by four. Why don't you take Mark to the village once he's done? I'll pick up Ollie and Len and we'll meet you outside the woolly. But he might not be in the mood. No, but if he's passed, then we'll want to celebrate, won't we? Yeah, OK. Give us a kiss before you go. You'll never get away with it. Everything is under control, Donna. Yeah, till the catalogue arrives. Mom's not going to be satisfied if all she can see is her ankles. Well, let's just cross that bridge when we have to, eh? Well, what if it comes today? No, post's already been. Three new orders and an advert for patio doors. I'm telling you, she's not going to be happy. She will be when she's dangling her toes in the crystal clear waters of the Caribbean. What's going on? Ask him. We were just talking about the fantastic holiday you won for us, my petal. But the catalogue still hasn't arrived. Will you give him another ring? You, I, I can't hassle him too much. Might arouse some suspicions. But you could just say you need it for your clients. Yeah, well, I, I'm sure it'll be here soon. Oh, I'm dying to see it. Please promise me you'll ring them again when you get back. Yeah. Why not, Bob? OK, my precious. I'm all right, Jack. Don't fuss. Oh, you should go to the doctor. I'll be fine. It's not that bad. Once I get to work, I'll be all right. Well, if you're sure. I don't believe in letting germs get the better of me. So you're waiting for my dad, then? Yeah, he's over at the restaurant. I was quite surprised to see you at the barbecue yesterday. Mm. Well, I wasn't sure if I'd be welcome. Oh, of course you are. It's lovely to see my dad looking so cheerful. Hiya, Mum. Hey, hey, Pet. Still here, Louise? Yeah. To be honest, I haven't got much to go back to. In Leeds, you mean? Mm. Excuse me. I've got these really awful digs. Sticky orange carpets and a reconditioned microwave. Doesn't sound very homely. Well, everything's a bit up in the air at the moment, ever since I left my ex. Oh, I'm sorry. No, don't be. Honestly, it's the best thing that could have ever happened to me. I mean, I thought I was settled for life, but it turned out to be more like a life sentence. I think it's probably best I just drift for a while. I've still got to wear my keep, though. I didn't mean to pry. No, honestly, you're fine. To be honest, I, I love it here, but the city's so anonymous. I know what you mean. Yeah. Mum, you're looking ever so pale. Are you feeling all right? <clears throat> something the matter? Probably something I ate. Mm. At the barbecue. Overindulgence, more like. Not at all. I was as sober as a saint. I think your father's trying to poison me. <laughs> oh, Debbie's a melodramatic. Oh, oh Mum. Oh, Where's the pain? <laughs> Maybe you should go and lie down for a bit. Come on, I'll take you upstairs. You need me here. Oh, well, I'll phone for you if you like. What about my dad? Don't worry about him. This is an emergency. Kirk hasn't woke up at all. I think he likes the sound of the vacuum cleaner. D did you do the windows? Yeah, but you can't tell, though. All the muck's on the outside. When does the window cleaner come? Well, there isn't one. Yeah, but you've got ladders, though, haven't you? Well, Letitia, I don't want you climbing ladders. You know, all, all that stretching, it might not be good for you. Ugh, I wasn't going to do it myself. No? You leave it with me, Mr Turner. I'll sort your windows for you. That'll be three ninety, please, Ed. It's out. Thanks. Let's hope it cheers him up. Yeah, it's going to take more than a pint to do that. Mm. Louise? Ronnie. What are you doing? Working. Isn't it great? Is it? Well, I'm filling in for Diane. You didn't have anything special planned for this afternoon, did you? Uh, oh, no, nothing special. No. Good. Good, I hate to let you down. <laughs> Louise, if you're short of cash, you know you can always count on me to help out. No, thank you, Rodney. I don't like to get into debt, especially not with my mates. Uh, you're putting me in a very difficult position here. Why? Because I'm working for your ex-wife. Now, come on, Rodney. What could she possibly tell me that I haven't already worked out for myself? Hi, Dad. Please. I do hope you're not going to get paranoid, Rodney. Jack! Oh, she's what incredibly get... willful. Oh, come on. You enjoy a good scrap. Me? If she couldn't stand up to you, you wouldn't look at her twice. 
I've just called in to see how Diane is. Mm, well, she went to lie down. Well, that's not like Diane. Mm, she's still not very well, Jack. I don't know what it is. Well, it's Diane Hill. Since last night. Any of your customers complained of stomach pain? Certainly not. Were you suggesting there's something wrong with our food? Always very hard to prove that sort of thing. I think I'll go up and see her if that's OK. Yeah, of course, come through. I don't believe it. Do I look like a poisoner? Well, I wouldn't like to say. I've never met one before. He's just so jealous, and I've given him no reason. I think they are, yeah. Even if Malin did fancy me, which he doesn't, it doesn't seem to occur to Scott that I got my own ideas about who I sleep with. <laughs> Oh, you're really close, you and Scott. Yeah, well, not anymore. I mean, Mal's not just my boss, he's a friend. But according to Scott, that's not allowed. <laughs> you should tell him to sling his hook. <sighs> I think I will. Honestly, it was so embarrassing with Mal on. I'm supposed to go into work later on, but I don't know if I can face him. Hey! Don't just stop it all over. You're supposed to be doing it right. Well, you can come up here if you like. Oh, here comes Betty. Prepare to be interrogated. I'm out for you. See you later. Oh, bye. Hi, Betty. All right, love. Hey, she's in a bit of hurry. Yeah. Ah, your Danny seems to be making a decent job of them windows. It'll do yours for you and all if you want. How much? Five pounds. <laughs> Five pounds? Oh, are you kidding me? That's the reduced rate, that is. Now, don't think just because I'm a pensioner you can rob me blind. Honest, it is. <laughs> Oh, hello, Betty. Hey, have you seen who's up your ladder, Alan? This is not what I expected, Letitia. But, Mr Turner, Danny just wanted a chance to show you could be trusted. After all that business with your motorbike, he never meant any harm. What do you think, Mr Turner? Oh, well, not bad, I suppose. Thanks. He slogged his guts out up there. Let's do a proper job for you. Very well. There you go. Betty wants her windows doing and all. At the right price. I would, but the Mr Turner's ladder and bucket. Yeah, well, maybe you could borrow them for the afternoon. Um, oh, go on, Alan. What harm can it do? Mm, very well. But I, I want them back at the end of the day, mind. Oh, thanks, Betty. Four quid, and that's my last offer. OK. The only other option was the last week in February. They'll just have to cancel the retreat. But you'll be letting all those people down. Why can't you go in February? Thanks. That's when the baby's due. Well, it sounds like the perfect time to make her escape. I don't <laughs> think so. I was only joking, Ashley. I wouldn't dream of leaving Bernice on her own, and I'd be missing out on the baby. Babies aren't interesting until they can talk. Oh, I don't think that can be true. Do you know how quickly they develop? Some babies are smiling by the time they're three or four weeks old. The first smile. Imagine missing out on that. No, we're going to raise this child together right from the beginning, aren't we, Bernice? Um, yeah, of course, yeah. Unlike some parents, eh, Ashley? I didn't say that. Very charitable of you. Well, look, if it can't be rearranged, you should go. They need you. I'll be fine. I don't know. Well, I can keep Bernice company. After all, I've got some fathering to catch up on. There you are. An offer I can hardly refuse. I can't believe she fell for that pathetic act that Marlon puts on. What well, act's that? Oh, well, he's always had them by, and he's always played for sympathy. And it's just to get in their knickers. It's not like that, Scott. No. No, I'm not apologising to Chloe, regardless of what you may say. You're almost enemy, you are. Denise. I'm going to take Diane back up to the farm. Oh, that's a better idea. I can't look after you here properly, Mum. I thought we could ask Louise to do the evening shift. Yeah, sure I can. Is your coat in all? Yes, thanks. I'm not sure one shift's going to be enough. I think we ought to offer Louise a longer contract. Louise? Well, can I tell you something in confidence? Of course. Well, um, I'm supposed to be going home next month. To Australia? Yeah. I mean, I booked the tickets ages ago when I couldn't wait to get as far away from my ex as possible. But now I'm not sure if I've made the right decision and I haven't had a chance to talk to Rodney about it yet, so I'd really appreciate it if you didn't say anything for now. It's nobody's business but yours. Mm. But I can definitely work the next few weeks if you don't mind the uncertainty. A few weeks be fine. Yeah. You ready? Yes, thanks, Louise. Right, so first of all, make sure you don't run over the examiner. <laughs> thanks for the vote of confidence, Ollie. <laughs> Take no notice, Mark, you'll be fine. <sighs> God, my hands are shaking. <laughs> hey, you! Dad! What are you doing? Don't worry, Ollie. I'm just gonna have a little word with him. You stay here. No, Dad, just leave it, please!
My daughter is very young and very gullible. She thinks that there's some good in you. We both know that isn't true. She might not. Shut up! You take that smile off your face before I wipe it off. From now on, you stay away from my family. If you've got anything to say, you say it to me. Have you got that? Got it! What happened? What did he say? Nothing. I don't think he'll bother you again, love. Look, I'm going to definitely fail if I'm late. Well, let's go. Go back inside. Thank you. Donna! Special delivery. Dave? What is it, Mum? It's arrived. Oh, just come at the right moment, then. Do you know, they said I was very photogenic and the photographer could not believe that I hadn't worked as a model before. Mum... Understand it. There must be some mistake. What? I'm not in it. Really? Well, I must be. I'm sure I wore those stockings, the ones with the lacy tops. They're my legs. Well, how can you tell? They are my legs. Look, I know what my legs look like, and I know what I wore for the photo shoot, and they are. And they are. I can't see your face anywhere. They put someone else's head. On my body. <laughs> Get over. I think Mum's right. Well, why would they do a thing like that? It's an insult. They must know what they're doing. Perhaps they didn't think your legs went with your face. <gasps> or perhaps they didn't like the look you'd got on your face, eh, Viv? Cos you can be a bit of a sourpuss when things aren't going your way. Betty! Oh, no, I know she can't help it. No, I'm just offering a few words of comfort, that's all. Cos, when you get older, the market for flesh can be very cruel. Oh, shut up! Just shut up! You wait till Bob gets back! <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> To cap it all, Betty was here when I opened it and now it'd be all round the village that Naughty Nylons thinks my face is too ugly to go in this stupid catalogue. Uh, I don't understand it. Is, it. is it a printing error? No, of course it isn't. It's on every page. Look, there, there. And there. Those are my legs, aren't they? I'd recognise those shapely calves anywhere. Oh, Bob, it's horrible. Yes, it's, it, 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 it's quite grotesque. Bob? So he didn't know anything about this then, Bob? Oh, don't be silly, Donna. Of course he didn't. It's only just arrived. Honestly, Donna, I never expected to see another woman's head on your mother's body. Not in my wildest dreams. Well, you'll have to do something. Right. Get on the phone to them, then. Me? No, you're right. You can't. I'll have to do it myself. No, wait. No, that, that's not a good idea. Oh, for goodness sake. Look, you're too upset. You, you won't handle it properly. Well, we can't let them get away with it. They've got to reprint it. They may be a laughing stock. I'll ring them and I'll say I have had a complaint from the legitimate winner of the Ms Naughty and Allen's competition, who is one of my most valued clients. Thank you, Bob. Right. Well, go on, then. I'll uh, go in the back. Don't any customers over here in. Who are a past? Oh, I don't know. I ain't never got enough practice, that's the trouble. Still open, you know, if you want a drink. It's all right, thanks. We're waiting for Mark. Oh, driving test. I hope he does OK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're here now. Find out in a minute. Who's driving? Sean is. <laughs> oh, Mark. Well, I'm surprised. What was it? The emergency stop. No, that <laughs> <laughs> He did it, he passed. What did you think I had? Really? Oh, why was Sean driving? He drove all the way back. We just swapped places around the corner. <laughs> right, let's get the ladder drinking. Come, Come on. Well Thank you. Where's Bob doing back there? Maybe he couldn't get through. He must have done by now. But what can he say anyway? They're not going to recall the catalogue because it cost him a fortune. Whose side are you on? Mum? 
I'm sorry, love. I'm just so disgusted with them. Would you mind the shop? I want to know what's going on. Yeah, all right. But, sir, you said you'd use shots of a leg so she couldn't be identified. You never told me you were going to use someone else's head. Yeah, well, it's just not good enough. Either you withdraw the catalogue or you lose the best sales representative Naughty Ireland has north of Watford. Sales rep of the year 1997, with the division's highest total sales for six out of the last eight consecutive quarters. Yes, that is my resignation, effective forthwith. That's it. I've resigned. Oh, Bob. Oh, Bob. Well done. Mm, he was so sure it was going to fail. Well, it's your lucky day today, mate. Yep, only now is a car. <laughs> uh, how did I know this was going to cost mm. me money? Eight pounds twenty, please. Yeah. Hi, Zach. Hi, and uh, two more, please, Bernice. What? Mm -hmm. Yes, so what? Aren't you going to say nothing to the old man? Listen and learn, fat egg. Admit nothing. Think before you open your gob. Now, these simple rules will get you a lot further in your life. Dad, he's having a go at me again. Oh, who's rattled your cage? It's been a right moody get all day. I was going to make up for it now by paying for these pints, aren't you, son? Thank you. You've seen who's in? Ignore him. Yeah, well, he's staring at us. No, he's just having a pint. Sean's right. We're not going to let Ken Dinkle spoil our party, are we? To Mark. <laughs> to Mark. <laughs> to Mark. <clears throat> Angie? Yeah, sorry. To Mark. Cheers. So when it went well then? Oh, it was a great success, Marlon. Everybody enjoyed it. Except for Diane. She's accused us of giving her food poisoning. What? Oh, don't worry, it's just a bad case of sour grapes. No, all that food were cooked properly, I of swear. Of course it was, of course it was. If Diane's ill, it's got nothing to do with us. So, where's the lovely Chloe? I think I might have driven her away. Chloe. There you are. I told you, you worry too much. I'm not late, Ma. No, no, no. I'm really pleased you're here after last night. It wasn't your fault. I shouldn't have opened my big mouth. I'm glad you did. Show me just how devious Scott can be. No, I mean it, Chloe. You mustn't let what I said spoil things for you and him. You're sweet. You know that? I need good friends like you. Now I'm single. <laughs> Your father didn't pass first time, you know. It was you. You're a terrible teacher. You know, he used to sit there with his head in his hands going, oh, tell me when it's over. Sean <laughs> <laughs> looks dead happy, doesn't he? Shut it. They all look happy now they're back together. Proper family. It's like nothing could come between him. Go on, it's your throw. If you're just gonna chuck him like that, I'll win easy. Concentrate, lad. <laughs> He's missed again. <laughs> Ken! Ken! Where's he going now? All locked up. Now we can celebrate. Mum, this is ridiculous. I will never forget the way you stood up for me. You are my champion. Mum, it was only a few pickies in a catalogue. I just hope, Donna, that one day you'll be lucky enough to meet a man who will give up so much for his principles. What have I done? Don't worry, love. Everything is going to turn out just fine. We've talked so much about us working together. This is your chance to throw yourself into the shop. Oh, the shop? We can make a real go of it. I don't care about being Miss Naughty Nylons as long as i got you by my side. And we've got our holiday to look forward to. Mm. Come on, put some muscle in sweet lad. There's no reason why he shouldn't go for his HGV licence in a couple of years. If he wants to. Nah, traffic cops. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, a lifetime having that speeding ticket. Look, if he wants to be on the road, then the cars are faster and the tension's better. Oh, who's that? I'll go. Sorry, Mum. Uh, Mark. What do you want? 
Hey, did you pass your test? It's none of your business. Well, congratulations. Hmm. Sir. First time, I know. Let me come in. Kane. What's he doing here? Get out. I've come to ask for a truce. You're not welcome here. Look, we're neighbours. Just hear me out and I promise I won't bother you again. I don't think so. Hang on, Edge. Come on. Make it quick. So, the thing is, we can't avoid each other. And I don't like this atmosphere of hate and distrust. It's of your making. So I thought, it's time to set everything straight between us. Why are you listening to him? Well, if he wants to apologise. Get him out of my house. You see? This is where all the confusion happens. You give out such mixed messages, Angie. Don't you speak to my wife like that. Shut up, Kane. One minute you're trying to throw me out. Next minute, you want me in your bed. I never know where I'm up to. What? Don't listen to him. He's poison. Mum, what's he on about? It's not like it was just the once, is it, Ange? She wanted me again and again. He even took me away with her. Said I was better than you. In bed. What am I supposed to make of it, eh? What are you saying this for? You're lying. Dad, get rid of him. Ask her if it's true. No. Go on. Ask her. 